Two people accused of killing a transgender teenager are facing new charges tonight. The Union County Sheriff's Office says Joshua Newton and Victoria Smith killed Jacob Williamson last month. Newton is now charged with conspiracy to commit murder on top of his murder charge, and Smith is now charged with murder on top of her other charges. WBTV's Cam Gaskin spoke with one of Williamson's close friends tonight. So, Cam, what did she say about these new charges? Yeah, Molly, she said the last month has been one of the hardest of her life. But today, when hearing the two people she feels are responsible for Jacob's murder are charged with that crime, she felt relief. I want them to suffer like they made him suffer, like we suffer every day without him. Promise Edwards lost her friend Jacob Williamson just over a month ago. Thursday evening, she says she felt a sense of hope for the first time since his death. That was the happiest moment of this entire month, was just me knowing that finally they see what we saw the whole time, that she was involved. After initially facing accessory after the fact and obstruction of justice charges, Victoria Smith is now charged with first-degree murder alongside her boyfriend, Joshua Newton, charged with the same thing. That let me know that she will stand in front of a judge for what she did. Law enforcement is still investigating, and Union County Sheriff's Office says as of Thursday night, there still isn't enough evidence to deem this a targeted hate crime. Even so, Edwards believes that Williamson was intentionally preyed upon. This was definitely something that they had talked about doing. They knew what they were doing when they picked, when he picked Jacob up. I don't feel like this is the first time that this has happened. As for what kind of sentence she would like to see for whoever's convicted, Edwards says she hopes the death penalty is on the table and that she won't stop until justice is fully served. When they close their eyes, I want them to see Jacob's face for the rest of their life. But when they open their eyes, I want them to see my face and know that I'm not going anywhere. So tonight, both Newton and Smith are still being held in the Union County Detention Center. They are due in court next on Tuesday, August 8th. Edwards says she plans to be there in Union County to see them with their own eyes and again to make sure they see her face. Molly. Kim Gaskin's live tonight, Cam. Thank you. Now the family